there is like 20 or 30 people on the barge just surrounding my camper trailer. There's guys underneath it crawling. It had no name, no logos, no stickers. No, it was just a camper trailer I built for me and my kids. I met a gypsy. Yeah. And we have been first to market on every product that we've created. There's nothing that Patriot Campers has ever done, ever. And this is a big statement, but there's nothing we've ever done that uh, was a competitive product to anybody else in, in the market. We've always gone into market sectors that didn't exist, yeah, you know? Right. From uh, the camper trailers, you know, when we built the first camper trailer seven years ago, there was nothing that resembled a Patriot Camper anywhere in the world. Really? Really? really. Like, there was nothing that resembled a Patriot Camper. And so where did that inspiration come from in you? Well, that inspiration for the first design was we were avid campers. So my kids were, my boys were, when we started, when we built the first camper trailer, the boys were about eight years old and me was about five years old. And that's what we did every weekend. We went camping. And we bought from your $2,000 shitbox uh, trailers because that's all we could afford at that time. Up to the last camper trailer that we bought was about 70 or grand. Couldn't afford it. I've got a real hardcore motto and I've had it my whole life. We do not finance toys. If we can't afford it, we don't buy it. We actually finance this camper trailer. It was something that would enrich my family time. Yeah, It's something that would have made camping easier for us and we could use it as a family. And it was, to me, it was it was an asset. You know what I mean? It wasn't a toy. This, is, this was our life. This is what we were yeah. doing every weekend. And that still resonates with me today with my customers. But... Um, We bought this camper trailer and it was just like, man, Yeah, we took it out the first trip and me and Sarah were just fighting about it. It was too heavy. We got bogged on a beach one night going to Stratty on our own and we landed there at six o'clock in the afternoon and we spent the night there on the beach (laughs) with three young kids, bogged up to the eyeballs, water lapping at, you know, my Hilux and and the camper trailer and we almost lost the whole program and 5.30 in the morning, these fishermen come through and seen us on the beach and towed us off the beach and we ended up going home and... We just had so many bad experiences with this camper trailer, you know? And um, it was it was Christmas, Christmas 2013 it was, and we still had this camper trailer and we were out on a trip and I was sitting there and it was literally the story is this, right? And our fans, people who know Patriot Campers will know this story. But we were sitting around a campfire back on Stradbroke Island and I was sitting there with Maddie, my best mate, a couple of my brothers and that, and we were literally sitting around a fire we're having beers and I got a stick and started sketching like in the sand beside the, the campfire. Dude, what do you think if we build a camper trailer like this? Just the outline. What if it had this and what if it had that? What if it was shorter? What if it was more compact? What if it was lighter? What if you could tow it fucking anywhere? You know what I mean? And we started having these you know, these conversations and it was literally we got back straight after Christmas and I was like, you know that skit with Mr. Burns, the aviator scene where he locks himself in that yeah, room? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was me for like six weeks, man. Really? Nobody would come anywhere near me. Didn't go home, slept at the office seven days a week, 16 hours a day. My whole office just scattered in samples of stoves and electrical. I knew nothing about building a camper trailer. I was, I was, I was a laser cutter then. I was obviously sheet metal, you know? And we were building electrical switchboards. So I used all of the design technique that I knew from switchboards. Anyway, I designed this camper trailer and I had the design finished and I printed it all out, proud as punch. You know, it's in this laminated folder and I'm like, we're going to dinner with all of our friends at my brother-in-law's restaurant down in Rabina. So I turn up there, I'm like, babe, it's finished, it's done. Here's the, here's the fucking design. Sit down with all my friends, start going through the pages and there was like 10 people at the table and everyone's looking at me like... Has this motherfucker lost his he mind? He has gone off. He's the lost. Deep end. He's lost his mind. That's what everybody was looking at me, you know. And it was, and I got, I, I felt that. Yeah. And I and I felt all my friends looking at me like, don't get me wrong. Everybody put on a, like, yeah, dude, good on you. But looking at me like, are you for? And I'm like, man, we're, I'm going to build a camper trailer. And everybody started, you know, looking at me weird. Anyway, this is we're in 2014 by then, you know, with like January 2014. So anyway, whatever, like typical me, what, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm going to build the camper trailer anyway. We started building this camper trailer in like February. We built the chassis, built the box set, and then my business got really, really busy. Yeah, uh, so we parked it down the back. Comes June that year, um, I'm like, right, pull that, pull that trailer out. We'll, we'll finish it off. We finish it. The powder coater comes up to me, you know, and he goes, man, what color do you want me? One of my stuff. What color do you want me to paint it? I said, mate, what color have we got the most of? What's excess? Because I don't yeah. want to waste any money. Yeah. He goes, oh, we got this green down ba- the back that we were using for Energex or whatever. I said, yeah, man, just, just paint it in that, which is now the company color. Fuck. It's what Patriot Campers is famous for is this, is this uh, color. 
And um, so we finished it. We finished the camper trailer, and it's like July by then. It's my birthday, my birthday weekend. We go back to Stradbroke Island because we're there every weekend. So we're driving in the dark, 4 a.m., going to the ferry. We get onto the ferry. or grab the kids. We go upstairs on the ferry to grab breakfast, yeah? Up there having breakfast, come down. Sun's just coming up, and there is like 20 or 30 people on the barge just surrounding my camper trailer. There's guys underneath it crawling. It had no name, no logos, no stickers. No, It was just a camper trailer I built for me and my kids, you know? And all these people are looking at it, and they're like, what is this? I'm like, oh man, it's just a camper trailer I built, and I'm like, and that's what I'm like, dude. I'm onto something here, eh? So you didn't have any like commercial, no, bro. ideas until nope. it was done, and you're on that till fucking boat. Till it was boat. done, till till it was finished. Every it, hey, I, I the built, market decides. The market decides. We get back like three weeks later. Camper Trailer Australia magazine ring the office at Express Metal Products. Somebody from that trip at Stradbroke sent the photos in. <laughs> to Whoa. Camper Trailer Australia they've traced it back to me somehow rang my office said tell us about this camper trailer I told him about it sent it some new photos I said look we want to come up and do a review on it come up with a name for it wow and I'm like oh fuck what's going on here look we've re- we really do have something here yeah so they've come up they've done the review on it in the meantime me and Sarah every night on the couch A4 piece of paper writing down all of these names we had f- like fool's cap book filled like filled with names and me and Sarah were sitting on the couch one night in between and we're like I don't know who said it we still we don't argue about it we agree that it was both of us somebody said it and it was just like oh, fuck, that's it Patriot Campers that's the wow. name the patriotism comes from our patriotism surrounding Australian manufacturing. People think that we picked that because of the US market. you got to go back to where we were at that stage. We weren't yeah. smart enough to be thinking about the US I market. I was going to say, like that's the, ha- <laughs> that's the happiest accident because yep. like Patriot in yeah, America yep. is like fucking bang. Oh, that's, that. man, like, that's... Yep. You could not have nailed it, it couldn't have got Couldn't have got a better... But there's no way you've got that foresight. There's, we didn't have not that foresight. Then. We didn't even know we had a product for the Australian market. Yeah, it yeah. was... The Patriot campers came wholly and solely for the patriotism around Australian manufacturing, which I've been beaten into my head since I was born, since birth. Mm. I am the guy that will go to Harvey Norman and say, show me the Australian made fridges. I'm that guy. You know what I mean? I am the guy that will go to the supermarket with my wife and I will literally look through the rice packets and go, made in Australia, put that in the trolley. Like, I, dude, I wear it on my sleeve. I'm an advocate for it. I don't know any better. I'm not a, I'm not an intellect. My kids are not intellects. We're hands on. We we need that industry. Anyway, that's that's probably another story too. So we so we come up with this. We come up with the name. They come up. They do the review on the camper trailer, and then after they did the review, they put it in the magazine. They're like, "Do you want to bring this thing to camper trailer of the year competition?" Fuck off. I'm like, huh? And they're like, "Yeah, bring it to the camper trailer of the year competition. It's it's going on in September, October." And we're like, hell yeah, we'll bring it to the competition. And that's in that transition period from the magazine calling us to going to Camper Trail of the Year, that's where the commercial vision for Patriot Campers started. Prior to that, so call it luck, call it a fluke, I don't care. Yeah, we still did it. Mm. We built it. We put everything that we had into it. I, I sacrificed, my wife sacrificed everything that we had just to build a product that would enrich our lives. You know what I mean? For us only and not for the commercial aspect of the business. We go to Camper Trailer of the Year that year and we win it. Australian Camper Trailer of the Year. And it was just like, dude, it's on. That is insane, man. That's the story. We've won it seven times, seven years now. We've won it. You know, wow. The business is eight years old. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.